If you look at an FDA approved product called Estrazorb, Estrazorb is a little ketchup packet full of soy oil and uh, estradiol. Each packet is 4.3 milligrams and you're recommended two a day. That's 8.6 milligrams. The basic dose on the Wiley protocol, okay? never goes beyond that except for two days. So we're within FDA ranges, but nobody ever looks. Even FDA products have found out you can't treat someone and get any effects unless. Without peaks and valleys, without differential drops and, and high doses, you can't reset receptor response. And it's not how much you take, it's how much you receive. So without those receptors falling into line and making this work in a normal way, as it would in a normal young woman, you don't have hormone restoration. You barely have replacement. I try to make them understand that hormones are dose dependent in their effects. That this much does one thing, this much does another thing, this much. So that they understand that without that peak on day 12, you've got constant proliferation in any static dose of anything. Estrogen turns itself off on day 12. It's a negative feedback loop. Hormones work, endocrinology works on negative and positive feedback loops. And without that peak on day 12, not only don't you turn off the estrogen, but you never make a progesterone receptor to receive the progesterone in the second half of the cycle. And how that's escaped anybody, I don't know, it's very clear in the literature. But isn't it logical when you finally read the molecular biology that, that progesterone, that estrogen, creates its own denouement by creating the receptor for the progesterone? That's how, it's another feedback loop, negative feedback loop to turn itself off. G1 arrest or, or just growth stopping on day 12 is not enough. You really deactivate the receptor when progesterone has a receptor. So you deactivate the estrogen receptor. And then we start all, fat lady sings, we start again. All these women who've been robbed, who've lost their uterus, the gynecologist who prescribes static dose hormones and then get to perform surgery later, that's where women are stuck in this country. They're stuck taking something that actually makes them worse. It's called iatrogenic disease. But these doctors who are causing the disease don't have a clue because they're surgeons, they're not endocrinologists. The endocrinologists won't treat menopausal women or andropausal men. Endocrinologists are uh, put in medicine to deal with uh, diabetology and thyroid and infertility. They're dealing with hormones. They perceive people in andropause and menopause not to have any, so they don't treat them. They just fall through the cracks. Because endocrinology could step in here and there could be menopause medicine. You know, they could change everything, but they don't.